Hey folks, Dr. Mike Isertel here for Renaissance Periodization, Hypertrophy Made Simple, video number three. If you want more details, the Hypertrophy Guide Central Hub on Renaissance Periodization and all the rest of our longer form YouTube videos are the place to get much more expanded view on this. Let's not waste any time. How should you be warming up for hypertrophy training? Well, first of all, what does warming up do? Well, it does a couple of things, probably some something like three things. It essentially allows the heavy lifting done after the warm up to be much less likely to cause injury, which is a really, really good thing. So people say warm up or you get hurt, there absolutely is some merit to that. Secondly, it by warming up, your technique for the lift becomes more efficient and becomes better targeted at the muscle that you actually wanna train, which is a very, very good thing. And lastly, it fires up your nervous system over time as you warm up more and more. And that nervous system firing essentially lets you work the muscle that is targeted harder and get a better stimulus. Now, onto the meat and potatoes of how to actually warm up. Number one, you can choose to do some cardio for five to 10 minutes if you'd like at the beginning of a session. Not mandatory. Some people like to do it, some don't. You can do it, give it some thought. If you feel better doing it than not, go to town, but you don't need it. Number two, what you wanna do is take roughly like a 20 RM plus weight, okay, 20 to 30 rep weight for that exercise, sometimes even lighter, and do that exercise, which is essentially an unloaded bar, for example, for many people, do it for around 10 repetitions. Make sure the repetitions are nice and slow, meticulous, really try to connect with your muscles. Then you want to do at least one sort of intermediate heavyish weight for about five reps or so. And that's going to be a weight somewhere between that 20 plus RM first weight and your planned target weight. So if your 20 RM weight was 100 pounds and your planned target weight was like 200 pounds, you're going to want to take like 150 pounds or so and do it for like a set of five reps. All right. Now, Point number four is the last warm up you'll do is take your working weight or one that's even 10% higher to give your nervous system a real big boost and do it for like two or three reps. And that's called potentiation. That's the part that really wakes up your nervous system. That's not more for warming up, but for firing up your nervous system. That's the last thing you'll do. But you'll notice we did one light warm up. We did one at least intermediate warm up and then one last heavy warm up. The thing is, depending on how much weight spans between the first light warm up and the final warm up, up, there is a chance to do more warm-ups in between. So at least one, you want at least intermediate one, but you could do more. For example, if you're lifting between roughly, these are rough guidelines, zero to 50 pounds, just one intermediate set. If it's 50 to 200 pounds is your working weight, you do two intermediate sets. So you would do something like, let's say, oh, you know, you would do 120 pounds for a set of six, and then you would do like 180 pounds for a set of four, right? Something in between those two ranges of where you start warming up and where your eventual working weight is of like 200 pounds, right? As you get heavier, you do more and more intermediate sets. You know, if you're doing more than 400 pounds, you could do four or five intermediate sets because you can't just jump into crazy, crazy poundage. You don't show up to the gym to squat 600 pounds for reps by doing 150 pounds and then 300 pounds and just go to 600 pounds. That's insane. You need to do a whole lot more warming up than that. And here's the thing, that's for the first exercise for a muscle group. For every new exercise, let's say you got done bench pressing and now it's time to do incline dumbbell press. The thing is a lot of those muscles are warm already, you don't go through that whole sequence again. You take that middle weight again, you know, somewhere between your 20 RM plus weight, which you don't even touch then, and your working weight, you do that for like a set of five, kind of like a feel it out set, and then, the working weight itself for two or three reps just to get the feel of the working weight, that one potentiation set, and then you go right into it. So essentially, as soon as you're done warming up a muscle for one exercise, any other exercises you do for that muscle later that day, or that session rather, it's really just only two warm ups, which saves a ton of time because really already warm. Let's take a look at two quick examples. One really light, one really heavy. Upright rows your only working weight is 65 pounds on a barbell, okay? It's not that much weight, so what do you do? You find the 30 pound straight bar, hopefully you have one at your gym, the, the short straight bar that only weighs 30. You do it for 10 reps, your shoulders are nice and warm. Then you do the 45 pounds, let's say you do for five reps, okay? And then you do 65 pounds for the potentiation of three, you put the bar down and then you're ready to go do your work sets. That whole process might take two minutes, three minutes, no big deal. On the other hand, let's say you're leg pressing and you wanna leg press 455 pounds. Well, you don't just jump into that. Let's say the sled weighs 45 pounds, just for convenience. You do the sled uh, plus 45s on a side, so 135 pounds for 10 reps. Then you slap plates on a side, two plates, you go eight reps, three plates, six reps, four plates, four reps, 
You go a little bit over for that extra potentiation effect, five whole plates over 455, that's 495. You do for three reps, then you come back down to 455. It's gonna feel super, super awesome. It's gonna feel a little lighter. You're gonna get way more reps. It's gonna be great. Tons of injury prevention, tons of potentiation, and you're good to go. Folks, thanks for tuning in. See you next time for the next video.